Good morning. It is Thursday, October 3rd, and this is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. I'm Matthew Handley. Coming up, Bishop Paul Bradley discusses hope and anxiety. But first, your local weather and this news. Governor Gretchen Whitmer is urging U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken to protect Michiganders who are trying to return home from Lebanon. Whitmer says the federal government needs to do more and tells Blinken, quote, it is imperative that we all work together to bring Michiganders to safety and back with their families immediately. Israel has been bombing Lebanon as part of its war with Hamas. Whitmer said in a letter that Blinken acted swiftly last fall to set up charter flights out of Israel and Gaza for Michigan residents. U.S. Senator and Republican Vice Presidential nominee J.D. Vance campaigned in Auburn Hills yesterday, a day after the vice presidential debate. The senator from Ohio said he thought his debate with the Minnesota Governor Tim Walz went, quote, pretty well. And he mentioned he spoke to former President Trump afterward, who congratulated him. Meanwhile, Walz launched a one-day bus tour through through the swing state of Pennsylvania on his day after the debate. A Custer Elementary School fifth grader is in trouble for allegedly bringing a spring action toy knife on a school bus in Monroe yesterday. Superintendent Andrew Shaw says the student pretended to stab a classmate on the bus and it was witnessed by someone driving the bus. The student was suspended. A first grade student was also caught with a BB gun on the bus Tuesday and was also punished. The Wayne County government has fallen victim to a cyber attack that has brought some services to a stop. A financial demand has been made through ransomware. A county spokesman says they are investigating the scope of the attack. Jail inmates could not be bonded out, and defense attorney says they've not been able to schedule visits with their clients. Diamond Sports Group, the parent company of Bally Sports, wants to drop broadcasts of the Detroit Tigers in 2025. The company said in a status conference in federal bankruptcy court that they only want to continue broadcasting Atlanta Braves games and have dropped the contracts with the Tigers and the Tampa Bay Rays. Major League Baseball's attorney said they had no information about what Diamond Sports seeks to do. The broadcaster filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in March of 2023. And St. Mary of Redford Parish in Detroit will become the third parish in the Archdiocese to turn their unused school building into housing for low-income residents and those in danger of homelessness. Father Athanasius Fornwalt, the administrator for the parish, said they're trying to close on a sale of the building to the Volunteers of America, Michigan next year and hopes residents can move in by 2027. He said he doesn't want to call it affordable housing, but rather, quote, supportive service housing. You're listening to Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio. Sports is next after the weather. Now this. Ever thought you'd make a bundle by trading in or selling your used vehicle only to find out it's worth a dinner for two? Well, it's much more valuable to donate your vehicle to Ave Maria Radio. Thousands of Americans donate their vehicle each year. The donation to Ave Maria is easy, tax deductible, and supports our efforts to evangelize. A year from now, will you remember that dinner or your gracious and selfless donation? Go to AveMariaRadio.net to find out more. That's AveMariaRadio.net. We're looking at sunny skies today and highs around 76 in Detroit. Tonight will be mostly clear with temperatures falling to around 52. Friday will start sunny but becomes more cloudy as the day rolls on. Highs will be around 73. Saturday will be sunny with highs around 70. And Sunday will be warmer with some scattered showers. Highs in the upper 70s. We're looking at sunny skies and highs around 77 today in Saginaw. Tonight will be mostly clear and temperatures will fall to around 51. Friday will start cloudy and become sunny as the day rolls on. Highs will be around 71. Saturday will be sunny with highs around 70. And Sunday will be warmer with some scattered showers. Highs in the mid-70s.
The Tigers are going to the American League Division Series. Detroit clinched its spot in the ALDS after coming from behind to beat the Houston Astros 5-2 in Game 2 of the AL Wild Card. Here's outfielder Matt Veerling. Yeah, no, we, uh, we played them a lot. So, um, yeah, we're just going to keep playing our game, and we'll, uh, we'll, be, we'll go in there ready to go. The Tigers will visit the Cleveland Guardians for Game 1 of the ALDS on Saturday. That game is on TBS. Hope is one of the most important virtues for those struggling with anxiety. Bishop Paul Bradley, Apostolic Administrator of the Diocese of Steubenville, whose motto is Waiting in Joyful Hope, joined Dr. Greg and Lisa Popchek on More to Life to discuss the virtue of hope. We live in a time of a tremendous anxiety. I think there's a lot of uh, things that going on in in the world in general and in many of our lives to uh, to lead us to have some struggles with that and, and maybe even some fears. But, you know, the that uh, Episcopal motto that you referred to, waiting in joyful hope, is you know, rooted in, uh, well, the season of Advent, for one thing, but also because hope is not just a, uh, a theme of Advent, but it's really the theme of our entire lives. We're here in this world for a certain number of years. None of us knows exactly how how long God has in his plan for us to be in this world. And yet uh, we have our hope set on the fact that there is more to come. Um, there is a life after death. And we pray as people of faith that that, that that eternal life will be with God. And that's really what hope is is all about. It keeps us living in a more or less a constant advent, not in fear, not in uh, wonder where all this will lead, but with a certain confidence that comes from that theological virtue of hope, as we know, those three theological virtues, faith, hope, and love. So it's that hope that keeps us focused, even in the times of anxiety. Listen to Mortal Life weekdays at 10 a.m. on Ave Maria Radio. St. Polycarp says, pray for our rulers, for our leaders, and for all those in power, even those who persecute and hate you, and for those who are enemies of the cross. In this way, your good works will be seen by all men, and you will be perfected in them. I'm Matthew Handley. That does it for this edition of Michigan Mornings. Lord willing, I will talk to you again tomorrow. Until then, goodbye.